Greetings, are you receiving me? Dave Any here. I know it's been a while. Uh, some of you have been wondering what's going on with me. There was a uh, sudden abrupt cessation of activity on my YouTube channel. Uh, well, that's because uh, I had a couple of um, serious, um, you know, uh, disruptions in my life which uh, affected my routine and uh, made it difficult uh, for me to upload videos. Uh, to, you know, put it all in a nutshell, uh, my father uh, needed my help in California with some things and so I have abruptly relocated from Santa Fe to San Luis Obispo and um, I'm, although my residence is in San Luis Obispo with my father, uh, where I can, um, you know, help him out, give him the help he needs, uh, I often spend time up here in my father's studio, which he built in San Miguel, California. And um, my father um, is a really brilliant artist, uh, very famous in this area and uh, throughout much of California. A lot of celebrities own his work. Um, and for good reason, he is a brilliant artist. My father is a genius. Uh, so I spent a lot of time up here in the studio in San Miguel, which my father built, and I'm going to give you a quick little tour of it right now. Let's see here what we can do. All right. Uh, this is the loft where I stay when I'm up here in San Miguel. Um, this is my, some of my father's artwork here. This is a uh, triptych. It actually, my dad builds these out of wood in the wood shop, and uh, it's oil on panel. And uh, and yeah, he, he's really a, kind of a unique artist. Uh, his work is a, a little bit out there um, by some people's standards. He's been classified as a neoclassical surrealist. And these are this is like a little three-dimensional, um, kind of a little three-dimensional assemblage he did. You know, it's um, a room. And I don't know if it still works, but there's a motor there, and you used to be able to wind it up, and the figures would move. Uh, here's another one of those. Uh, this one didn't have a wind-up thing. It's just got a little handle that you move. So, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Pretty fun. And uh, here's another one that he did. Uh, I love the three-dimensional aspect of these pieces of work. Uh, really incredibly beautiful, the colors he uses, and uh, he really is good at it. He, I'm, I'm moving the camera around to give you a sense of that three-dimensional aspect of the work. Uh, and so, yeah, this is the studio. A lot of interesting things in here to look at. Uh, this is a helicopter, uh, a rocking helicopter. It's got rocking appendages so it can rock back and forth and uh, there's a photo of my dad the brilliant artist and uh, there's a photo of me the brilliant martial artist <laughs> and there's another work of my father's this is a uh, this is another triptych I'll pan slow so you can enjoy it Let's give you a close-up on that beautiful face. And, uh, let's see, this is the rest of the studio. It's a, a huge studio. There's a lot of space here. And it's full of my father's artwork, which we desperately need to sell because um, my father's come on some hardship and we need to sell some of his artwork to help uh, to help uh, support him. And uh, I hope any of you who are interested, who are art collectors, who are interested in some fine art will contact me. Uh, there is a way to contact me through my YouTube channel. And 
I'll just show you some more of his work here. Here's a, a beautiful ship he did. It's called Death Ship, 1984. And uh, here's a self-portrait my dad did of himself. And uh, there's a pencil or ink drawing he did of my sister Angel when she was very young. A lot of my father's work has, uh, well, I wouldn't say an erotic quality, but he likes to do nudes. Uh, and he's very into Egyptian type stuff. He's been doing some Egyptian themed work. Uh, those are some of his nudes over here. And he does these incredibly big uh, screens. And these screens uh, animate. And uh, this one is about seven feet tall with gold leaf oil on panel. And dad, you know, uh, he manufactured all of it, you know, in his wood shop. Here's a uh, pretty scary looking crow, or maybe a raven, I guess. And uh, another Egyptian style piece here. And uh, that's Hopsepsut. Hopsepsut, Dad says. Another one of his more disturbing pieces here. It's like an execution scene. Diptych uh, just folds like a book. Those monks over there got my dad a lot of attention in this area. Uh, and he's working on a project to house them in San Luis Obispo. It's called the Peace Project. If any of you would like to donate to that project, I know it would really help out a lot. Uh, you'd be doing a lot to uh, help preserve these beautiful art works of art, and uh, you would also um, be doing a good thing for the San Luis Obispo community. These are gods that my father hunted down and killed. They're made of cardboard, cardboard and other stuff. Uh, this is a really big screen my dad did. Beautiful screen. Uh, it's incredible paintings on it, gold leaf. I'd say uh, I'm six feet, so almost six feet. So I'd say this is about uh, 10 feet tall, maybe a little more. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's only nine feet. No, it's probably more like 10 feet. It's pretty tall. I can't reach the top of it. And uh, here's some of my father's other work. And uh, there's another god that my dad hunted down and killed. Another one. And uh, so yeah, I only wish I could be half the man my dad is. He's a really brilliant man. And he's had a really great career. And uh, he's made a lot of really beautiful pieces of artwork. And, um, yeah, just trying to help him out here towards the end of his career with things. This is a really cool little statue he did. And uh, there's another kind of an Egyptian themed boat, I guess. Old kayak. Um, here's a small painting my dad did of a bird. All right, let me um, show you guys a little bit about San Miguel. San Miguel is a very small town in California. And uh, this is where my father's studio is. A lot of cactus growing out here. Just a little one strip town, a couple of neighborhoods. And uh, here's the studio. Back up a little bit so you can get a good view of the studio. 
and uh, over here is there's some railroad tracks and the train comes by but it doesn't bother me I don't even hear it anymore I don't really you know I try to spend more time with my dad than I do up here because he, he needs a lot of help nowadays but uh, this is where we're at if you want to come find us and uh, buy some art there's a mission here in San Miguel down there and a lot of religious folks come to see the mission and uh, I'm working right now on getting my business license and you know things together so I can open the doors to the public there's the Elkhorn bar over there which is highly recommended uh, a lot of very friendly and cool folks who hang out there. I like it a lot. They welcomed me, even though I'm not a big drinker anymore and I don't spend a lot of time in the bar. I wanted to get to know uh, some of the locals there. Uh, there was another bar next door called The Range, but it's closed now. And there's a little deli over there. There's not much else, really, to San Miguel. I'm guessing you... Uh, Sorry about the wind, you guys. But we'll go back inside because this wind is not helping us at all. Post office is right over there. Cactus. I'm gonna have to trim some of this back. Ah. Ooh. It's hot out there. It's much cooler in the studio. I like to bar the door, keep my father's artwork good and safe. And uh, huh, there's my father's palette. Look at all this paint. <laughs> Just big gobs of paint. <laughs> Isn't that a cool little painting Dad did? So, you know, it's uh, going to affect my YouTube channel a little bit. I mean, I can't really make videos about Santa Fe anymore. And really, that was uh, the main uh, attraction to my channel, was the keyword Santa Fe. So, um, sorry to disappoint you all, but I'm not in Santa Fe anymore and can't give you any more Santa Fe content. However, I am going to uh, be giving you some content, uh, new content, in my new locality and I hope you'll stick around for that uh, thanks for all of you for thanks to all of you for subscribing uh, appreciate all your likes and your comments and I even like it when you dislike my videos uh, and uh, I really appreciate you all and um, so don't forget to share on your social media and I'll see you in the next video love you all bye